At first, I was really skeptical of AI in terms of using it as a creator. And in some ways, I really still am. I think people are going to abuse it to their own detriment. But that's something we'll cover later on. However, I recently discovered three AI tools that have significantly increased my productivity as I do this YouTube slash content creator thing. By integrating them into my content creation business, I've been able to accomplish more stuff in less time, which has been especially helpful because I'm trying to do more stuff all the time here in 2023 to build my empire, as it were. The first tool is probably the simplest and most well-known use of AI as sort of a word or copy generator for various writing tasks. Although I am a video creator now by profession, I also have a background in writing. I have an MFA in fiction from the Iowa Writers Workshop and experience teaching at all kinds of different uh, colleges and universities, the creative writing thing as well as literature. And uh, I found ways to use AI to write more efficiently, not to get AI necessarily to write for me. It's helped me. I script about 90% of all my videos, read them from a teleprompter. Notion, the platform that I use to organize all my different projects, recently launched an AI component that I found really helpful for writing scripts. If you ask Notion or Bing AI or ChatGPT or anything like that to write a script for you, no matter what you do, the draft that's generated is really often generic and can be inaccurate if you're not like super specific about what you're looking for. I use it sometimes as a starting point or to give me some bullet points to create a more focused and accurate script. I write the script myself. And then I go back and I run the script through Notion's AI for proofreading and to improve the writing, which it does. It often uh, makes me less wordy than I usually am. The process has saved me a lot of time, especially compared to long turnaround times that when I worked in publishing back in the 90s and early 2000s, this thing that I just described, going through ideation and then write a draft and then have it proofread and edited and all that kind of stuff. That's a job for like three, maybe four people. And it would take all day to get through one draft. But here I am using AI to get all of that stuff done for me by the AI. Now, is it as good as it could be with other humans? Maybe not, but I can't afford other humans. So the AI is actually helping me quite significantly in, uh, in getting this done. Another way that I've started using AI just recently is to generate bullet points for content that I'm going to create on a true crime uh, YouTube channel and podcast that I'm going to start, as well as a music history channel that I'm going to start. I, While I know the stories that I'm going to tell, gathering all the information for that content can be really time consuming and you have to go through all kinds of different things and so when I ask it, hey, give me the bullet points of this, that, or the other thing, I can go tweak those bullet points, look up a couple of things if I need a little bit more information, and just use them as sort of the raw material that I'm going to use to then just sort of create short videos, long videos, podcasts with that information there in front of me. And it doesn't take me days to go and do that research. Notion's AI costs $10 per user in addition to Notion's subscription feed. And while this can be expensive for folks who have multiple people on their teams, I currently just use a free Notion plan because it's all for myself. And uh, so I pay the extra $10. I'm also starting to test Bing's AI for writing tasks. Bing is free. And I'll report back later if I find that Bing does anything differently or better than the Notion AI. Another way that I get things done more quickly now, and this is a huge one. This one has saved me hours and hours and hours. When I film a video, I'm left with 15 to 20 minutes of raw video footage where it has me starting and stopping, trying different deliveries of different things that I'm saying, uh, adding things, taking things away. And I usually cut that down to eight or 10 minutes of content or less sometimes. This process usually takes me two, maybe two plus hours just to get that rough cut down. And then I can start doing more editing. But recently I started using Gling, which is an AI tool that's uh, recommended by my friend, Mark Ellis. Uh, Gling basically takes that raw footage and you can tell it to take out pauses and silences as well as take out starts and stops and, and different takes and crunch it all together. It actually makes all the cuts 
look nice. And I end up with a Final Cut file that I can open and all the cuts are there and I can adjust things as I want to. I can cut things out. It's not always 100% right, of course, but it does get me 90% of the way toward having a finished rough cut of my video. And that's cut my first edit time down to 30 minutes or less, which means I can get these things done much more quickly. The third tool I've just started using is called Munch. It is a web-based AI that you can sign up for. It does cost $49 a month. They give you like one trial video and then it's $49 a month, which is kind of expensive. But what it does is it takes long form video, you upload it and then it sort of does its little spin cycle and it spits out like eight or so possible pieces of content that you can use in short form. I've been struggling to figure out how to do short form video whilst, you know, along with my long form video and all that kind of stuff. I've tried a bunch of ways. You've seen some shorts here on YouTube and I've wanted to do more with TikTok and Instagram, but haven't quite figured out how to do it yet. Munch takes that long form video and cuts it up. And then once you get the pieces, you go through and you kind of watch what they what it's suggested and you can edit it some if it started like a little bit late and you want to go back or chop it up a little bit more yourself you can do all that it pulls out and puts in the captions if you want to do that so there's just a lot of different options that you can use with it and i'm going to try it out for a couple of months and see how it does i do want to grow on other platforms as they say but ai has made it a lot more possible than uh it would have been say last year. So it's pretty interesting. Like I said, I didn't necessarily trust it in all realms of creativity. I think there are a lot of people who are going to abuse it. And I've already found some websites that I know are using AI to write their stories. And it's, it's pretty darn obvious. So I think those people will get more content out initially, but then they will see that it's just not, it's just not going to get the engagement. If you're smart about how you use it and you understand how you work, AI can kind of be a, an entire editorial team that you can use to your advantage. That's what I'm doing to get more stuff ready to go than I have ever been able to before. Hopefully this has been a helpful video for you to know a little bit about how I do the work that I do and use AI. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments below. If you have any suggestions on other stuff I should check out, let me know down in the comments as well. Otherwise, my name is Jason, sometimes known as the JTL, painfully honest tech. Tech, so honest it hurts. Until the next time, I'm out.